Yes, Lord. When we mean Guasida, Hallelujah, God is good. Oh, Nami, Nami, can see. It's not freezing, is it? Oh, Nami, I'm just singing that God is good. He's a good God. He is a good God. He is a good God. In the name of Jesus. You know, the Lord was speaking to me a couple of minutes ago. Like for real. You know, he talks to me. Like he really talks to me. And uh, I was feeling excited by what he was sharing with me. It blessed my soul. It bless my soul. Lift your hands and let's pray this morning. Ba shatala la basia vaso vodeva. It is a blessed day and it's going to be a wonderful day in the name of Jesus. That's the name that you need to have on your tongue every morning. The name of Jesus, and you need to qualify it by saying, "The one who died and rose again on the third day, according to the scriptures." You know, every now and again, I don't know if you've ever had this problem before. You can have a name, okay? And somebody has the same name as you. There are people who have the same first names as you. So, Sister Cheryl, for instance, I'm going to use you as an example. You're not the only Cheryl, even in your workplace, in your community where you live. You're not the only one. There's other Cheryl. But then, it can be that in your community or where you live, in your estate, there might be somebody also called Cheryl Williams. The strong possibility that there is somebody who has not only your first name, but also carries your second name. Ah. So then we need to go further to still try to differentiate uh, the Cheryl Williams that I know uh, from the other Cheryl Williams who is a stranger to me. And so I will go further by stating uh, that the Cheryl Williams that I know, she has a middle name, which is XYZ. And that middle name would differentiate her from all the other people carrying the same name you see you can go into certain communities and that name jesus yeshu is very common a lot of jesus is walking around go to certain of the you know some of the latin communities so many jesus is walking around so many jesus is walking around even in the church in the pulpit you don't know that there's a lot of jesus is in the pulpit you know what they do you know what their jesus is because they become idols. So there's a lot of Jesus in the pulpit. Uh, so many of them. When you call Jesus, they're all going to turn around and say, you're referring to me. Because I am the Messiah. You, you know, I am the one. Do you see what I'm saying? Because when you have a problem, it is me that you come to. You don't call on the risen one. And so to differentiate, just in case. Because he said judgment will start in his house. That means that the mess is not on the outside, men and women of God. See, we think that the unrighteous folk are the ones that are not saved. We think that the ones on the outside are the... We Some of you listening to me, let me tell you something. All your friends are unsaved. You used to have friends who were saved. But you went through some stuff with the church folk. Now all your friends are unsaved. And they're the best friends you've ever had. I'm, I'm, listen, I put my hands up. Oh, listen. I have friends who are not saved. Let me tell you something. They've got my back. 
if anybody tries to come against me, my unsaved friends, they will come again, they will deal with you. The people that I thought were saved, my goodness, they're the liars, manipulated thieves. Oh, listen, they're so evil. That word evil belongs to them. That word evil was created for them. They are the ones who claim. Look at Jesus, his inner circle. Look at the people who were close to him. In the end, it was those same people that gave him up. That's why, that's why when the cleanup begins, the cleanup starts in the house. You don't go clean up the outside. He said, listen, this judgment, I want you to start it from my sanctuary. Because this mess that I'm seeing is coming. What you don't realize, listen, whatever will come into the world, listen, it will come through the church first. The gatekeepers, the watchmen, the watchwomen who ain't doing their jobs, the people who are supposed to be crying out, doing all kinds of crazy stuff. The devil is a liar. I said, my peace, let me keep my mouth shut before I get into any more trouble. I don't know why God always allows me to get into trouble. You know, I don't come with a script. I came to talk to you about Revelation chapter 12 verse 7. I came to talk to you about the book of Genesis. You know, I was coming to talk to you about, you know, Jacob wrestling with the angel. That's what I was coming to talk to you about. That's what I thought he gave me. But every now and again, when I stand to talk, he has this ability to just change the focus. But I love him for that. I love him for that. That just lets me know that you can't buy me because I've already been bought with a price. You see what I'm saying? I am unbuyable, if there's such a word. I am unbuyable. You can't buy me. All I'll tell you is the truth. That's all. All I will tell you is the truth. That's all I know. I don't know anything else. I'm, I'm making sure. That's all I know. That's all, that's all you need to know. Because let me tell you something. You know why a lot of people are in captivity? You thought captivity was because the enemy wanted to keep you bound. Captivity really, because the Bible says, watch this now. You shall know the truth. And the truth will set you free. Anybody who is in captivity, could it be, could it be, could it be that you don't know the truth? Could it be that the reason why you're being held captive is simply because you don't know the truth? When you make up in your mind that you will walk in truth, when you say, order my steps in your word lead me guide me every day send your anointing father i pray order my steps in your word i want to walk worthy i said i want to walk worthy if you order my steps i will praise your name my god when you begin to feel that way when you begin to feel that's when you ha basha that's when you know that you're on the right track but be careful because all hell, halalabasia, all hell is going to be opened up against you. Because when you seek the truth, because the devil don't want nobody to be free. The devil's assignment is to keep everybody bound. As long as you are in bondage, the enemy has you. Hey, ha, I'm, so, I'm sorry. As long as you are in bondage, the devil has you. Halalabasia. Ha! That's why he said, I am free. Praise the Lord, I am free. No longer bound. No more chains holding me. My soul is resting. Hey! It's such a blessing. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm free. You know what he came to do? He came to set the captives free. He didn't come to give you houses and cars, my brothers and sisters, sorry to burst your bubble. He didn't come so that your bank account is going to have millions of dollars in it. I, 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 I hate to burst your bubble. Not every believer is going to be a millionaire. The devil is a liar. Not every single one of us is going to have the millionaire status. You hear what I'm saying? Uh, that is not what he came to do. 
Uh, we are mandated to be blessed. We should never and we would never live in poverty. That is not our portion. But our focus should not be directed to those things. You hear me? Our focus should be built on nothing less but G ah, Jesus' blood and righteousness. We will walk in victory. My God. I said we will walk in victory. We will walk in victory every day for the rest of our lives. We will walk in victory. There is somebody today living in a mansion. Has all the cars at their disposal. The bank manager, listen to me. There are people who don't go to the banks. The banks come to them. But today as we're praying on this morning. They are miserable and they are wanting to have what you have. Some of you, you work for such people and they're asking you, how is it that you are happy all the time when I know that what you're being paid doesn't cover your bills? Hey! Balalabasa, Vazo Vodiva, Leprositalalaba, Badedebasa, in the name of Jesus. Ha! Some of you work for such people. You know, they give you a paycheck. But you have let them know that the paycheck that they give you doesn't define you because you're not in their pocket. Because what they don't even realize is the riches that they have. Joseph, you hear me this morning? The riches that is in the house of Potiphar, it is not because Potiphar is a smart man. It's not because Potiphar is anointed. It's not because Potiphar is a blessed man. Is simply because you are the Joseph who is in that place. You are the Joseph who is in that workplace. Because of your giving and because of the kingdom agenda that you have, God is not going to allow that business to fold as long as you are there. I dare you to try to leave that business. The day that you leave that company, that is the day that that business will fold. When Joseph left the house of Potiphar, we never heard of Potiphar again. Ha! To let you know that the carrier of the blessing wasn't Potiphar, but it was Joseph. Every place that Joseph went to, there was prosperity. When Joseph was in the prison, the prisons prospered. The prisoners prospered. When Joseph went to the palace, prosperity hit the nation. Not only did it hit the nation, prosperity hit the world. Because the world came to buy from Egypt. My God, I sound good. And I need, Sister Cheryl, listen, I, I was coming to talk to you about Revelation chapter. God knows I was going to talk to you about Revelation 12 verse 7. God knows. God knows I was going to talk to you about that. God knows. My goodness. God knows I was coming to talk to you about. I was coming to talk to you about angels. You know, I got a powerful revelation. I thought I was ordered in a bag of chips, you know, because you know I got I got powerful revelation. I come to share with you. But this one, I ah, by shot, little little You know, you know why those of you who work in the corporate world here, you know why them big businesses are coming to deal with your company. You know why? It's not because of your CEO. You know that person up there, that thing they ordered in the back. You know, they they have all the perks of the business. You're working in that room where, you know, you ain't got no air conditioning. You, you, know, you, you know, you're sharing an office with about 10, 15 people, you know, and you're there at the bottom, at the basement. And the enemy wants you to feel as though that no good can come out of you. Let me tell you something. The reason why nations are coming to deal with that company is because of you. That's why some of you, try, you apply for certain jobs because they, oh, you ain't going nowhere. You ain't going nowhere. You think you're the only believer. I dare you to find out in your company those who are saved. You'll be shocked by the amount of believers. Tongue talking. Listen. Demon chasing believers who are in your workplace. That's why that company hasn't collapsed. That's why that company is still standing. God has hidden you as a secret agent. Listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. When an FBI agent is coming, even forget about the FBI because these, these days, you know, you, you, you know, we've seen too many movies so you can tell who they are. The secret services. Listen to me. When they are coming, until they identify themselves, can you tell that, that you know, that's a secret service person? 
can, can, can you tell? FBI, can you tell? No. Because they blend in. They blend in. They fit in with what's going on. But they are on a mission. Prayer man, let me tell you something. You have no idea. You know your giving that you give to the ministry? The devil wants you to feel as, ah, as though it's small, that it's not significant. You know, you, do, do, do you know what that is doing? La 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 basa. See, somebody just said, you know, your supervisor, your supervisor, your supervisor is smart. Your supervisor is smart. Some of you don't know. Some of you don't know. And, and that's why I need to let you know do not have an identity crisis. You hear me? Do not have an identity crisis. There is more with you than those who are against you. Are you hearing me this hour? I said there is more with you than those who are against you how dare you allow this uncircumcised philistine to tell you who you really are how dare you allow this uncircumcised lips these people these filthy lips people to tell you who you are when was the last time you opened the bible when you open the bible you will know that your redeemer hey dr nikisha i don't know what game the devil is trying to play with you I don't know what the devil is trying to play with you. Ain't no, listen, nobody can block you. I don't know what the devil is trying to do. I saw a message. I said, nobody blocks you. The devil is a liar. 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 Listen, listen. Maybe now I can get into my word for a couple of seconds. This young man by the name of Jacob. Bible says wrestled with the angel wrestled with the angel and what is interesting what the Lord was telling me and maybe I'll get the full you know the fullness of it I'll come back in the evening and I'll tell you the Bible says that when the angel saw that he was not prevailing against Jacob uh, the Bible says that he put his hands on his hips and dislocated the joints uh, this angel, notice this was part of the angels in Revelation chapter 12 verse 7 who fought with Satan and, you know, and a court, you know, one third of the angels. And the Bible says he was part of that group that defeated uh, Satan in Revelation chapter 12. Well, now he, was, he is on earth. Ah. Uh, and he's fighting Jacob, but he is unable to prevail against Jacob. And he says to Jacob, please, I, I, I need, I, you need to release me because they are engaged in a volatile battle. Uh-oh, I said a big word there. He, he's engaged in a volatile battle. You know, all sparks are flying. If you really do a study on the original word, to grapple, to fight, if you go deeper to the root meaning, here was humanity and divinity fighting. One person is fighting from a divinity perspective and the other person is fighting from a humanity perspective. See, when you are human, you are limited to what you can do when you engage in a battle. And here was humanity fighting divinity. What is now? Because humanity wanted to catch up to what divinity was doing because humanity knew that there was something which was amiss because what is now? When they the naming ceremony was taking place nobody asked my opinion of what I should be called because I was a baby I, I, I was a baby in the flesh uh, uh, but spiritually uh, 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 I was connected to divinity and so now the opportunity presents itself for me to claim my true identity. Listen to me, every believer, everyone under the sound of my voice. Some of you may have been through this already, and some of you, you will go through it because that is one of the journeys of this life. A time will come where you will have to wrestle for your true identity. It will be a constant battle, but there is a definitive moment, a defining moment in time. That has been allocated to you on this planet or, or you know you know on earth for you to fight for your true identity i hope i i hope i hope you 
understand what I'm saying? You have to fight for your real identity. I ain't talking about the name that people give you. I'm talking about you yourself recognizing that I need to be engaged in spiritual warfare to find out who I really am. I'm going to maybe go a little bit deeper tonight, okay, as the Lord leads me. I, 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 I'm going to go a little bit deeper because that's what the Lord was sharing with me. But I came on this morning and he took me to another place. Ah, okay, I agree, Holy Ghost. I'm going to wait on God to talk to me some more. I told you I'll be coming. I'm, pray for me that I come on in the evenings, okay? In spiritual. You know, if I don't sleep during the day, waking up at 12 midnight, you know, you know, if I get busy sometimes, you know, you get tired. Ain't no spiritual stuff. I just get caught up in heaven sleeping. You know what I'm saying? So just pray that I can rest so I can come on in the evenings. You hear me? Because I feel like God wants us to go back to that teaching thing in the evening. The devil is a liar. We ain't going to lose. We win all the time. We are witness in Jesus' name. Ha! I feel God. I feel God in the name of Jesus. I said, I feel God in the name of Jesus. Father, hey, balalaba, balalaba, setololobosa, vadeleleba. Everybody, just, just if you can, unless you're driving, close your eyes. If you can, close your eyes and just tap into. There is a deeper place this hour, this morning, this second, this minute that I need you to tap into. Close your eyes, don't type, and go into that place this morning. Right now, release your tongue. Release your heavenly language right now in Jesus' name. Balalabasha. Lalalaba Delelaba Sutalalaba. Vaso for the Valivrea. Palalaban Deleleba Satalalabasia. Vaso for the Valivrea. Prasutalalabasia. Van Delebosa. Leprositalalabasia. Vaso for the Valivrea. Pasutalalabasia. Leprositalalaba. Zavandi Capriasia. Vaso for the Valivrea. Secolobosia. Van Delibria. Zavadivo. Rapandi Capa. Zepro di Capasia. La Prasu Calalaba. Zevron di Capasia. We pull down. We destroy. We annihilate. We eliminate anyone fighting with our destinies and our purposes. In the mighty name of Jesus. Every giant Goliath, you would die in the name of Jesus. Principalities and powers, demons in high places, be prepared to be removed in Jesus' name. My God. Ha! How you feel now? How you feel? I'm done. How, how do you feel this morning? It is a great thing to serve the Lord. It is a great thing to serve the Lord. It is a great thing to serve the Lord. Walking in the light of God. I don't know if you know this song. It was years ago. It is a great thing to serve the Lord. It is a great thing to serve ah! Yes, Lord, I feel it. Hey, Jesus, it is well. Malalabasia. How are you feeling this morning? That yoke has been broken off your life. You just don't know it yet. That weight has been taken off. Malalabasia. Pasutalalabasia. In the name of Jesus, we drive that alcoholic spirit in Jesus' name. Malalaba. Vazovodeva. He's worthy. I said he's worthy. You hear me this morning? He is worthy in Jesus' name. God bless you. Go have a blessed uh, Friday, okay? Go have a blessed Friday. Don't let your God down. Don't let your God down. In Jesus' name. We'll see what the Lord will have us do uh, tonight, okay? It's going to be awesome. Just pray for me. That's all. Just pray. Just pray. You know, you know in my spiritual, you know. Just get tired of sleep. Let's pray that I wake up, okay? In Jesus' name. Prayer man, as always, I love you. Everybody who connects to this ministry financially, I just want to pray over you right now that your hands will always remain blessed. Everything that you touch will be blessed in Jesus' name. For your continuous connection to this ministry. Some started with us and they left. 
Some started with us and they moved on. Some fell. Some didn't see the need to continue to pray. But for your consistency, not to the ministry, but to God, to the kingdom assignment, I pray that from the north, south, east, and west, gold will find you. Your name will be mentioned in high places. Whatever that you require, my God, it will always locate you. I pray transgenerational blessings unto your children's children's children that long after we have all departed to glory, your children will walk in the harvest of the seeds that you have sown. Hey, my God, I, I, said, I said a mouthful there. Your children's children will walk in the harvest of the seed that you have sown in the name of Jesus to the only wise God the only wise God his one and only begotten son of whom there is no dispute you can't do no DNA test to check who his daddy is because he said I and my father are one the one who walked this earth told us that he was going to die and told us that he will rise back up on the third day and did exactly what he said. Not only did he just get up, but he rose up with all power in his hands. And before he left and went into the heavens, he gave that power to you and I so that we can become his representatives on this earth. He's the undisputed champion. Never lost a fight. Never lost a battle. Nobody can stand before him and take him on. Because he's got too much power. In the name of Jesus. That's what I'm talking about. The one who died and rose again. According to the scriptures. Every single person. Ha! Yes, Lord. In Jesus' name. Love you, prayer mantle. Thank you for bearing with me. This week has been a bit crazy because of the connection issues, you know. But God knew what he was doing, okay? We're still praying. Now listen to me. On the 20th to the end of the month, 28 days in February, right? So the 20th to the 28th, I'm going to be going to the prayer mountain to pray in Ghana. There's a place, like, you know, it's a prayer mountain. I went there years ago. That's how come prayer, you know, God, you know, God ordered my steps, okay? So I'm going to go to the prayer mountain to go and pray for like eight days, okay? Maybe I'll make it seven days because of the number seven. Okay, I'm taking the, uh, the the prayer mantle family every single name, every single name. I'm taking it with me. I'm gonna be going on there. I'm gonna be fasting. Pray for me. Pray for me, Lord Jesus. I need your prayers. I'm praying for you. Okay, when I go there, I'm fasting and praying for. You. Listen to me. It's not going to work. Whilst I'm praying for you, then you're getting worried. You hear what I'm saying? Don't get worried. Okay, but what that's this is what I need you to do. Every single person between the 20th and the 28th. Pick one day that you can fast on. You hear me? Pick one day that you can fast on. Okay? I'm going to go there. I'm going to be fasting. I'm going to be praying for you. Every single person in prayer mantle. I'm going to take the prayer wall with me. Every name. Every name is going to be going with me. I'm going to be there crying on God. Now listen. I'm not going to have internet there. So I can't. We, we can't. So listen to this now. It's going to be so amazing. We will not be able to have... Uh, periscope from the 20th to the 28th pass this around to everybody on prayer mantle between just you send your name you send your email your name your name will you know put your name on the wall you send your name email it so between the 20th to the 28th listen to me 20th to the 28th ain't gonna be no periscope i believe the phone the phone line still works i believe i should be able to be on the phone line praying with you every morning 7 p.m sorry 7 a.m est and 7 p.m est okay so that's what we're going to do but everybody from the 20th to the 28th listen to me you better pray if we don't come on periscope just because when it's, it, it, it's, it's, it's not a holiday you still have to pray 
Don't be sleeping and snoring. Because God, God will see you. You can't get to the phone line. Is it possible? Can everybody be on the phone line? Is it please sacrifice if you have for eight days? Buy you some calling cards. Please, I beseech you. Please, under the sound of my voice, please, I beseech you. For eight days, buy yourself a calling card. A calling card. Please. I beg you, please, I'm begging you. Buy a calling card, okay? I, I don't know if that's what you call it in America. You know, it's a calling card. So, 7 a.m. EST, 7 p.m. EST. Okay? What says it's no longer working? The devil is a liar. The phone line is still working. The prayer line is working. Buy a calling card. Don't, don't, don't take yourself out of it. Everybody, share with everybody on prayer mantle. Okay? From the 20th to the 28th, we're going to be... Listen, you're asking for the number. Go to the website, www.prayermantle3.com. Go on the website, okay? Go on the website. Now listen to me. Between you've got about three days to sort yourself out. All the numbers that you need, everything. Go to the website. Email. Make the inquiry. We will get back to you with the right information that you need. Okay? You got through what's today? Day 17? You got a few days to get it right. You know what I'm saying? Listen, I'm going to some backyard village. Okay? I pray to God, my I think T-Mobile charges. Buy you a calling card. That's what you call it, right? You know a calling card? And you can use if you know, you know if you've got a landline. You know, you buy a calling card most of the time. Yeah, buy a calling card. That's what you call it, right? A calling card. You know, it's like a, you scratch it off. It gives you some access number. And then you use that. I'm telling you. Phone card, that's it. See, I, you know before, the, you know before it, the numbers was free, right? Then all of a sudden, they started charging us, and we asked them why. And they said there was too many people calling in. See, because so many people were calling in to pray, they started charging us. So the devil is like, the devil don't want us to pray. But everybody, listen to me. Don't be lazy. Do your own investigation. Call your, your mobile network provider. Ask them if you call this number, if they're going to charge you. You've got three days to sort it out. Write the number in bold and stick it on your wall with the access code try it like tonight come on the prayer line tonight to see whether they will charge you i know those of you like outside like you know trinidad you know a lot of african countries i know i know it's gonna but sister mary this is what we're going to do sister mary every morning that i pray uh oh we gotta get rid of some demons every morning that we pray after we finish we're gonna we're going to um we're going to blast you know we're going to send it out we're going to send the recording out via email so you can listen to it okay those of you who will not be able to call in but this is what you do if you cannot call in make sure that you pray find you a wall and pray uh oh you understand find you a wall and pray you hear me it's going to be powerful because i'm praying from the mat. i'm going to be there you can't see me i'll probably take some pictures and try and see to show you what goes on up there okay been there before it blessed me it really redirected my steps when there you know i went to pray i came from london came to ghana first thing i said i'm going to the prayer mountain to pray they tried to discourage me because they you know they thought i couldn't do it i went there you know you know do you know the water that i used to bath when i was in the mountain i had to wait till it rained collected the rain water that's what i was bathing with i'm telling you came from london said i need god i had to wrestle I needed to get my true identity because I was struggling in life. I said, what is this that I'm going through? I didn't wait for no preacher to lay hands on me. I took the battle. I said, I'm going to fight this thing. If it wasn't for those experiences, I wouldn't be here today. So I'm going to go back there, okay? Because we need direction for the next phase of the ministry. Okay, so I'm going back there. That's what I did. I came from London. People tried to disc. There was preachers who discouraged me and said, don't go, don't go. Don't go because, you know, it's dangerous. They didn't want me to go, you know, not because of any bad thing. They just, you know, they just didn't think that somebody coming from London could hack it. I said, listen, I need God. I need God. I, I, I need him. So I was, on a, I was on a mountain praying for a whole month. When I came back, I was so skinny that my siblings were, were you know, almost crying. They're like, what happened to our brother? I said, I need G. I need to get all of you saved. 
See, in every family, God will always raise a man or a woman of God. In every family. Remember this. Every family, God will raise. Listen to me. Every family, you will have a Joseph. Every family, you will have a Judah. You see what I'm saying? Every family, you will have a Levi. The 12 sons of Jacob, you know, they weren't just 12 sons. They were a representation of what God's plan was for every family. There are, you know, every family has to have somebody who has money to take care of all the family. Every family has to have a man of God, a woman of God, who will spiritually take care of the family. That's why the enemy is after family. You see what I'm saying? Because God said, let us make man. That was family. So that's what the enemy is after. That's why prayer mantle is one big family. See, when we come together to pray, the devil gets so mad because we're always pushing back the agenda of the demonic world. So everybody, you, you, have you heard me? Pass it on. Get those phone cards. Okay? Get those phone cards. Get those phone cards. Okay? Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll keep, you know, we'll talk about it more tonight, right up until, up until I leave. Okay? Do not stop praying. I'm going to come back looking all different. The glory, ah! The, the glory is going to be so real by the time I come back. I'm telling you. And so listen, those of you who are new, this is what we do on Prayer Mantle. The Lord instructed us to pray every morning, 7 a.m., 7 p.m. EST in the evening, okay? And when we finish praying, you know, we make a commitment to God. Whatever the Lord leads us to do, we give. And whatever we give, we make sure that the number seven is in it. So it can be seven cents if that's all you have. It can be 70 cents. It can be one dollar seven cents. It can be seven dollars. It can be 70. It can be 77. It can be 777. It can be 7,000. You know, whatever you have, as the Lord has blessed you, do what you can. Don't overcommit yourself. Tr Listen to me. Do not overcommit yourself. You're not doing this so that maybe after two or three months you can't do it anymore. You're doing it as unto the law. The Bible says as often as you do this, do it in remembrance of me. So, you know, you're, you're doing this a commitment to God, till Jesus comes. Okay? So some people do seven. Some people do, you know, 77. You know what you can do. Don't let nobody tell you. Okay, if the Lord instructs us to give a certain amount, then we do that. But prayer mantle, I always tell you, let the Lord lead you. Okay? So if you're new, visit our website. Pray about it. Pray. Say, God, should I support this young African boy? <laughs> Say, God, should I support him? Pray. The Lord tells you to. Say, okay, man of God, I believe the Lord spoke to me. You know, the one area that, let, listen, the one area every believer you know when you, you, you know when you want the Lord to talk to you? One of the first areas that he will talk to you about is your money. He said, go, go, go give this to this ministry. You'll be like, uh-uh, that's not God, that's the devil. Because really, you won't go to tell you that, you know, the house is on the way and the car is on the way. But God will tell you that, uh-uh, go give this to this ministry. You'll be like, that's not God. I ain't gonna, nah, 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 I rebuke that voice in Jesus' name. It's true. You know, I've been there, you know, I've been delivered. That's how, you know, that's how I can say it. Okay? camera just oh, it happened yesterday can you still hear me the camera just flipped around i don't know what demon this is i, I think my phone needs deliverance my phone needs deliverance in the name of jesus sister cheryl let's pray for this phone. <laughs> okay so listen you know whatever the lord says sister carol we ain't spoken in a long time you abandoned me lord jesus god bless you okay i love you all so I'm getting ready. Listen. Now listen. What I didn't tell you. You know that mountain I'm going to climb? You know I have to climb for like 40 minutes. Do you know that? That ain't easy. My goodness. I need to climb that mountain for like 40 minutes. I need to take some breaks. I'll be sitting down. I need to make sure I carry some water with me. Because trust me. I don't know how I'm going to do it. I need Jesus. I will take some pictures so you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, I might even video it so you can see. It ain't easy, but God. Okay, so pray for me, okay? Thank you for supporting. Thank you for being a part of this ministry. Thank you for all that you do. Some of you have never spoken to you before, but you cover us, you pray for us, you do so much for us. Listen, let me tell you something. 
this is when you know that you've matured and you are a kingdom person god be with you as your as, as you begin your fourth your 40 days fast get a personalized relationship with god i'm telling you it's the best thing you can ever do okay i love you i'm praying for you the best for each and every one of us is yet to come it's already here in jesus name god bless you have a blessed day i'll see you tonight i promise you i won't sleep i'm i'm gonna be on i'm going to be on tonight in jesus name god bless you thank you bye bye i love you all bye bye